Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robin Hood portfolio. Today I'd like to go through how I put in my limit buy and limit sell orders for day and swing trading. This comes in response to a viewer asking how I do my day and swing trading without necessarily having to watch the market continuously throughout the day. And I do that by putting in limit buy and limit sell orders. So you put those in at the beginning of trading. You really just have to check on your account a few times throughout the afternoon to see if your limit orders are fulfilled. So the first thing you want to do in order to do these orders is pick a stock that has a good volume. You see Portola here, 269,845 for the volume. You want a stock that has good volume. Otherwise, your limit buy, limit sell orders will never be fulfilled. Or it'll take a very long time for those to be fulfilled. And you also want a stock that trends up and down throughout the day. And typically a stock uh, that you've chosen either through experience or through technical analysis uh, to kind of figure out what the limit buy and limit sell points will be. And after selecting a price, for example, Portola here, uh, it's trending down to 38.96 as well as 39.36, 39.52. I'll put an order in for limit buy at 39.20. So to put that order in, you simply click on the buy tab. Then when that pulls up, you want to click on the top right order types, click on limit, and then you put in the maximum you'll pay for a stock or or the, whatever price you want to put in. Uh, I'm putting in 39.20. So until the stock dips down to 39.20, this order will not be fulfilled. Then you click on time and force, how long you want this to be active. I typically just do it through the trading day. And then number of shares, and this is going to depend on how much uh, available capital you have. You see here I have 47.42, so I can only do one share of this particular stock. Click on the OK there, and then simply slide up now that order will be enacted for the trading day. So if the stock ever gets down to that point, the order is fulfilled. So again, you don't have to stick uh, your phone uh, somewhere where you can take a look at it all day. You simply have to put that order in at the beginning of the trading and then check on it a couple times to see if your orders are being fulfilled. The same thing applies to sell orders. So for a sell order, I'd probably do this around uh, $40 or so. It's already $40, $41, but if I were to buy at 39.20, I'd probably want to sell off about 40 or so. And to do the limit sell orders, exactly the same as limit buy. Click on the sell button, upper right, click, click on order types again, put a limit order in. Then you specify what price you'll essentially want for the uh, shares that you're selling. So the current price is 40.41, so we'll have to do a price higher than that. So let's say I would not want to sell until the stock got to 40.75. You simply put that price in. Again, time in force. Typically, I just do it through the trading day. The number of shares, you see I have 439 shares, so I could sell all of those or a fraction of those. I'll just do one for this example here. Click on OK, slide up. Now that order is also in queue. So now throughout the day, for my limit uh, buy, limit sell orders, I simply wait to see if those are fulfilled. And if the price isn't trending down enough, I can go in and modify my limit buy order. And or if the price isn't necessarily trending up to my sell price, I can modify that throughout the day as well. So now I can have day and swing trades enacted without necessarily having to sit in front of the ticker all day watching the stock price go up and down. I simply put in those orders and see if they're fulfilled. So that's how I've been doing my day and swing trades uh, while at work. Don't necessarily have to watch this all day. Simply put those orders in at the begin beginning of trading and see if they're fulfilled. And if they're not being fulfilled, I can go back and modify both the buy price and the sell price. So I hope, that got, I hope that made sense to you guys. I know I have had a few viewers ask about that, and it's fairly simple to do. You simply click on the Buy button, click on Order Types, Limit, and then specify the price you either want to buy it for or sell it for. And then the time in force, how long you want the order to be active. I typically just do it throughout the day so I don't lose track of the uh, different orders I have in play. And then uh, just waiting for your orders to be fulfilled. So I hope that makes sense. If there's any questions about that, let me know in the comment thread uh, under the video. Uh, I'll try to respond to that as quickly as I can. And yeah, kind of with that, I'll end the video. Uh, as always, if you guys enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Any questions about this video, again, just let me know down below. And any good ideas for future videos, let me know as well. I'm always looking to uh, read up on new aspects of the market, uh, new stocks, new strategies for trading, anything really that relates to the market, let me know. So kind of with that, I'll end the video, and we'll see you guys next time.